How is it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome to my channel and a pretty special commemorative video. This video will also be put up as a welcome video uh, for people that haven't subscribed to my channel yet. But it is a landmark for me. I have hit the 30,000 subscriber mark here in November of 2013 on my channel, which is really really amazing guys uh makes me so happy i'm really really proud of that and uh, it's a landmark i've been looking forward to for quite some time i believe my 30,000th subscriber was jess brew 4137 so jess uh i don't know if that's a girl or a guy but uh thank you very much for subscribing and i hope you enjoy my content uh in the weeks and years ahead hopefully now uh, i'm gonna go through a bunch of stuff guys some uh, some of the landmarks from where my channel started i'm gonna be showing you a lot of clips uh that probably a lot of you guys haven't even seen because a lot of subscribers have just come recently whereas some of my epic uh, gameplay uh, from way back, you may never have heard of. Particularly, I think I mentioned just in passing uh, the other day in a comment about uh, the number of kills I had when I got to round 13 to 37. That's right, 1,337 rounds on uh, Shino Nimura in World of War. And uh, the subscriber said uh, that he'd never heard that I'd actually done that. So there you go. I'm going to be posting that up here along with some other challenge videos and stuff like that and uh, some various gameplay that I've done. There's also a few unreleased clips clips in here guys from past gameplay that never made it to my channel for whatever reason uh, so look out for those maybe you'll be able to spot them maybe you won't now if you're watching this you want to watch right to the end especially if you're watching this in the first couple of days that I post this because uh, at the end of the week I'm going to be doing a giveaway now Obviously, if this video has been up longer than a week or two, uh, please don't uh, mention in comments or ask me about the giveaway because it will already have occurred. And uh, apologies if uh, you came a bit too late to, uh, to take advantage of that. But that's just a thank you. So wait to the end of the video and I will get into that uh, at that point. Okay, so I thought I would go back and do a retrospective of my channel here on YouTube. And uh, my channel started in April, uh, actually April the 13th, 2011, which is actually uh, the day before my birthday, which is April the 14th. I won't tell you what year, I'll leave that as a bit of a teaser for you guys. But uh, yeah, we started, started on April the 13th, 2011, and uh, it is a grind, guys. In this, uh, in this day and age, if you want to start a gaming channel on YouTube and you want to get a lot of subscribers, it is, uh, it's a flooded market. It's uh, no longer just one or two guys doing it. Uh, every man and his dog does it, especially with the last few uh, Call of Duties, for example, where everyone had the ability to live stream directly from Call of Duty, the, uh, the game on their console, for example, uh, and also record clips and upload them directly. So, uh, yeah, pretty much... Uh, the ease of, uh, of recording and uploading uh, that we have now, uh, as well as the fact that everyone wants like their 15 minutes of fame and some people think they're going to make a ton of money out of YouTube, uh, results in literally hundreds of thousands of people uh, with YouTube gaming channels. So it's not easy to, uh, to uh, you know, get a decent amount of subscribers and viewers uh, if you start up a gaming channel. What you need to do is either have A, incredible... Uh, I'm talking world record type of uh, gameplay stuff that uh, that no one's ever seen before, perhaps challenges and things like that. That sort of gameplay, or alternatively, if you're just a super entertaining person and uh, you're, you've got an out there, larger than life personality, and you do super funny stuff, uh, that can also uh, get you a lot of subscribers and viewers. And uh, the third thing is, if you just do super useful videos that everyone, you know, searches for and uh, can help them get through games, you know, walkthroughs, tutorials, how-to guides and stuff like that, you can also get a decent amount of subscribers from that sort of thing too. So, uh, when it comes to my channel, I uh, started off with my very first video and I, I will have posted this. It's probably playing right now, guys, so you can see what it was like. I had pretty bad audio back then because I didn't really know... Uh, you know, I didn't know the fine art of recording direct to a PC. Now, I'd been in a band before and done a lot of recording as part of the band, but not directly to PC. We did it old school um, and and uh, basically 
What the problem that I had in the early videos is the microphone that I was using was picking up a lot of the uh, PC fan noise and the hum and all that, and it sounded terrible, guys, listening back to it, to be honest. But uh, I've sorted out those problems, obviously, since then, and I use a, uh, a, a small, cheap microphone mixer, um, and that that's what my really good, my old uh, vocal microphone that I used to use in the band, I use that now, plugged into the mixer, and then that goes into USB into the PC. So it's it should be, hopefully, a fairly clear-sounding um, audio track. Now, uh, the gameplay as well back then on my first video, uh, which was a, a guide to killing the Pentagon thief in the Call of Duty Zombies Map 5, and uh, that was a unique guide that no one else had come up with as far as I, I know about, and I was pretty proud of that method and that, that, uh, and that video. And I made a little bit quirky as well back then for my first video, but the video quality itself, I attempted to record in the highest possible quality available at that time on the old HD PVR, uh, which was 1080i, but unfortunately I didn't know about deinterlacing or anything like that, so it had the interlacing lines um, and uh, looked pretty horrible if I'm honest, but back then I still wanted to, to put up the highest possible quality videos uh, that I could. So uh, since then, obviously, I've I dropped back to 720p for consoles, but uh, most of the time when I upload PC, it's 1080, uh, 1080p. Except lately, because I've even though I've got like something like three or four terabytes of hard drive space, most of it's full of some some uh, some gameplays that I've been doing and recording, and so uh, I haven't been able to free up the hard drive space. So I've been playing, recording in 720p a lot of the a lot of the PC stuff even at the moment. But uh, I do have the capability now with the HD PVR2 to actually record in uh, 1080p on console as well. So I got that um, in advance prepared, ready for the Xbox One, which I'll pick up on Friday, Friday night actually. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, getting back to that, that was my first video that I put out up back in April of 2011. And... Uh, I didn't get very many views at all. Not too many people noticed the videos I put up back in that first year. I think I had, uh, by the end of the first year in uh, July, uh, actually a year and a year and three months, I had a thousand subscribers and I was pretty happy with that. Um, I don't do it to get popular. I don't do it to get, certainly don't do it to get money. In fact, I didn't bother getting or looking for a partner, even though I'd been offered a few times um, for the first, I think it was the first year and a half, something like that. <clears throat> and I finally decided to get a partnership with uh, my network, which is RPM or Maker Studios, uh, simply because I wanted to get the thumbnails, uh, the custom thumbnails mi mainly. And um, it was only shortly after I accepted that partnership that they actually gave that to everyone, so never mind. I do get a little bit of pocket money now as well, which isn't too bad. And, and RPM are pretty good. I got to say, they do provide um, access to things like Audio Micro, uh, which is like generic uh, music that you can use, which is royalty free, and uh, sound effects and things like that. Not that I use that too much. Anyway, uh, yeah, after a year, a year and three months, I had a thousand subscribers, uh, not getting very, very many views at that stage, though, even though I had posted some pretty, in my opinion, some pretty badass gameplay, some pretty epic stuff that went up, you know, stuff that, uh, you know, not many other people had done, like, for instance, getting to uh, <clears throat> beating Gears of War 3 on insane difficulty through all, um, what is it, 50, 50 rounds? can't remember if it's 50 or 10 but anyway <laughs> that was a long time ago guys yeah so that was pretty epic I was pretty happy with that sort of thing and some other things that I'd done as well which I thought I thought were pretty good um, in terms of the gameplay but anyway moving on um, I, f I finally put up a video that started to get noticed a lot and uh, I don't think you can really call it a viral video because it didn't get a lot of views in the first day or two, um, but it did. After a couple of weeks, it got it got a lot of views. Like I'm talking over a hundred thousand views, a um, hundred thousand views a month, something like that. Anyway, and this is my all guns pack a punched in a single game video, uh, which I I put up around December. 2012 and probably a lot of you guys that have subscribed to my channel 
um, may have subscribed simply because of that one video. And uh, which is surprising to me because I knew it, it was pretty good gameplay, although um, I did miss one of the guns, as people keep reminding me every day, uh, which is the Barrett. Um, but um, in my opinion, I'd done a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that was way, way more impressive and harder to do than that gameplay. Like that gameplay took me maybe a couple of hours to do. I took a lot longer to uh, to edit, i got to say. And... Um, <clears throat> Some of the gameplay that I've put up um, has taken, like, my my Shino Numa 1337, that took a couple of days, that two or three days, something like that for me to do uh, non-stop, you know, like 10 hour days playing, and uh, I think my, I think my uh, insane difficulty um, Gears of War 3 solo horde run took about five hours, something like that. Um, that's fairly typical for some of the more difficult, more difficult gameplay that I've done. So, um, I was kind of surprised that that one of all the videos that I've put up actually got, um, got a lot of views and, uh, we're, we're talking, um, more than a million views now. It's had 1,170,356 views as of right now. And, uh, if I were to close my channel today, and I'm not going to do that because I'm enjoying doing it, but if I were, I'd be happy uh, with just that achievement by itself to get a video with more than a million views. And it, not just one of these stupid videos, it's like some meme or something, or, you know, some five second, pit, you know, video of a cat falling into a toilet or anything like that, you know. It's, it was actually a kind of video that I wanted to make, which was informative, which was, uh, you know, pretty well edited and which represented actual decent gameplay so I was really happy with that and still I am that 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 video got a lot of views but to be honest there were a lot of videos that are already done that uh, were a lot more difficult and more impressive gameplay in my opinion that might have got less than a thousand views so it's kind of weird and hard to predict um, which videos are going to be popular on YouTube I guess it's just a matter of um, doing what you enjoy doing and putting it out there and then waiting and see see uh, how the general public are going to uh, going to uh, enjoy it or even notice it. And sometimes that's the problem is getting noticed. You can have the best gameplay ever. If no one notices it, it's still not going to get views. And that's the problem sometimes with having so many gaming channels up on YouTube. Okay, now after that video, which was December 2012, I've actually put that out like two weeks after Black Ops 2 came out. Uh, in July 2013, so we're talking uh, seven months later, I actually went from 1,000 subscribers the year before to 20,000. And you might remember the video that I did since then of a, a challenge game on uh, Buried, I think it was, to get 20,000 zombie kills in a single game. Uh, so that was pretty, pretty amazing. I was pretty happy with that. Now, in November, so July, August... September, October, November, I've got another 10,000 subscribers, 30,000, which is awesome. Uh, things are slowing down a lot now for my channel, I guess because the Treyarch uh, Zombies uh, is, is stopped for a while. But I still do custom zombies and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest, the changes with Google Plus and the comment system and that, I think a lot of channels have really been suffering a lot uh, with views and uh, engagement lately. So that's... That's unfortunate, but hopefully it does pick up again. Even if it doesn't, though, I'm still happy with what I'm doing, and I'll keep going and putting out putting out videos. Now, uh, with that, uh, by the way, in between uh, the twenty thousand and uh, and the thirty thousand, I think it was in between. Actually, just before the twenty thousand, what happened was uh, my channel actually got hacked. So that was in March 2013. Uh, someone, apparently from Brazil, according to <laughs> the details, but who knows, uh, you know, who knows really. Uh, but what happened was they hacked my Twitter, my Hotmail account, and my YouTube account, and they actually closed all three of those accounts. Uh, because they closed my Hotmail account, it was very difficult for me to actually get my YouTube account um, put back up because... You have, they actually do the security check via your, your email that's linked with your YouTube account. The Twitter wasn't too bad, like I just created a new one with the same name, but 
Uh, the hotmail was a bit annoying as well. But in the end, even though at first they told me I wasn't going to get my channel back at all, I persisted and ended up getting uh, it put back up and all my videos restored within about two weeks. So that was, uh, that was a, a bit of a low point, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, I guess when you do get a couple of videos that start getting wa watched, uh, you do get undesirables that come along and attach themselves to your channel and try, try and wreak havoc. So it's just the way of the internet, unfortunately. There's always some people like that. And in my experience, you know, I've got a fairly thick skin. I don't take offense too much. Like, I'm fairly easygoing most of the time. But there have been one or two people I've come across on the internet and in the in the gaming community that are just really the lowest possible people, you know, ethically, and in any sense of the word, really that that you could you could ever hope to meet. And I don't like to dwell on that, but it is very disappointing to realise that because I like to to think the best of people and hope, you know, assume the best. Um, you know, rather than assume the worst. And unfortunately, even after I gave cut people a lot of slack and, you know, made excuses for them and, and so forth and gave them second chances, there were a couple of people that I just gave, you know, I decided to have nothing to do with. And uh, uh, I'm not talking about people I used to play with either, by the way, but I'm just talking about other people in the community. But uh, moving on to you guys, like all of you guys who have supported my channel, who uh, watch my videos regularly, and uh, there's a hardcore of viewers, I think around about 200, that seems crazy out of 30,000, but around about 200 hardcore um, fans, if you like, I don't like to call them that because I don't consider myself someone that that should should have fans or, or you know, is deserving of actual fans, but let's just say people that, that like to watch my videos and hang out and talk to me and make comments and stuff like that. You know, uh, the regular ones, there's about 200 that I always see and I always recognize and always make comments. And I'm, I'd really like to thank those people. Uh, I'm going to put up on the screen uh, right here, uh, according to YouTube, the, uh, the top fans, the top 10 uh, fans here in terms of engagement. So we've got Shane Arb is the number one fan. Thank you very much for your support, Shane. Uh, Brew Balls, Kevin Nelson, Oliver Eaton. <coughs> N.D. David Nine, Oscar Bamboli, Michael Caldwell. I have to make sure I get all these people. Xavier Hurley, Tristan Wallace, and Bella Sheffield. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate your support and uh, look forward to uh, providing you with more content and entertainment and videos uh, in future. The next list I'm going to put up are those that have been subscribed, the top 10 uh, longest subscribed uh, viewers. So uh, we've got here Viper54437. Now these are all active, by the way, because YouTube periodically removes the inactive subscribers. So he subscribed back in August 13, 2011, which is almost at the very start of my channel, which is pretty awesome. And he's still still subscribed, obviously. And then we have Rapid Focus as well, subscribed at the same time. A couple of weeks later, Zane the J Savage, who I do recognize from WA, um, another Aussie, subscribed. Oliver Clark, uh, Ibis Lazuli, Perfect Lemonade, Mr. Dog, 2412, Mr. Lizard Kings, uh, who's also a very good Zombies player, by the way. The Live It Up 34 and Mix Master Nut uh, Gaming, who also does um, quite a lot on the forums for COD Zombies, I believe. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. A uh, few specifically by name that I've been able to mention, but a lot of you who I haven't been able to mention, but I do appreciate your support. As I've said, and look forward to the next milestone, which I guess is going to be 50k. I don't know when we'll get to that. Um, somehow I think it might be a little bit longer than we got to from 20 to 30, but we'll have to wait and see. It's not all about the numbers anyway. It's more about uh, the fact that people are actually enjoying what I'm doing. Now, let's get to the surprise for you guys. Now, <clears throat> I just want to say in advance that if you're watching this video... Um, Anywhere from like two weeks from when this was posted, uh, this is no longer going to be um, an offer or a, uh, a giveaway that's 
active if you know what i mean because i don't want to see comments coming up here and, and people disappointed because it's already been given away so just keep that in mind look at the date if you're watching this and remember it may already have been given away if you're watching it more than two weeks from when it went up but what I'm going to be doing as a uh, show of appreciation for you guys is I'm going to give away a copy of Call of Duty Ghosts for Xbox 360. Now, very important to realize it is the PAL version. So it is uh, like the Australian version of Call of Duty Ghosts for Xbox 360. So if you're in a country that you can't play the, the uh, PAL games on your console, Please don't try um, to win the competition because I don't want to give it away to someone who's not going to be able to play it. You know, maybe you could sell it or something like that, but I want to give it away to someone who's actually going to play it. This is not a brand new copy. It's a copy I have played for a couple of weeks. So the gameplay you will have seen prior to this video uh, for Call of Duty Ghosts was played on this disc. Uh, I believe it's got some codes for some stuff as well, but you'll see that anyway <clears throat> when, I, when I send it to the lucky winner. But, in order to have a chance of winning this, I'm going to, to draw it randomly from the people that actually enter the competition. Now, what you have to do is uh, answer two questions for me. There's no right or wrong answers, but it's just to kind of give me some feedback on my channel. So, the first question you have to answer is, what do you like most about my videos or my channel? So it could be, you know, you like the game types, like custom zombies, or you like the live streams that I do. Maybe you like the strategy guides, and that's why you subscribe, or whatever. Or, or you like the Let's Plays, or you like the challenges that I do. Uh, any Anything like that, don't pick one of those. If it's something else, just tell me what you think, and what you like, and why you subscribed and watch my videos, so I can get some feedback there. The second question is, how do you think I could improve my videos or my channel or what I do so it could be anything that you think could be improved or changed uh, that you would like to see me do so should I play more co-op should I play more solo should I do more funny quirky videos should I play a certain game or game type for you guys do shorter videos longer videos talk more in my videos talk less or no talking you know it could be the quality of the videos it could be anything guys so if you have um, the answer to, or you you have uh, a couple of responses to those two questions, so once again, what do you like most about my videos, and how do you think I could improve my videos, those two questions, put it in the comment uh, below this video, and I will draw it at the end of the week, uh, randomly between the responses that I get, and uh, then uh, basically I will... Uh, I will direct message you <coughs> or uh, send you send you a, a PM anyway on uh, YouTube and uh, we'll be able to you know send it out to your postal address. So yeah, that is the giveaway details guys. If I haven't explained that clearly or you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, um, ask me in the comments section or you can tweet at me as well on Twitter. My Twitter link will be in the description. But once again, let's wrap this up and I'll just say thank you once again to everyone that's supported my channel, that views my videos regularly and that has subscribed and uh, hope to bring you much more informative, entertaining content in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Sleepy Jim out.